Yeah. I didn't sleep last night. I'm cranky. I'm feeling like I don't like people. Not you. I know you. You know I know you. I know the you you know. You know you. The you I know knows I know you. Now I know you know I know you. Good morning, sports racers. It's Friday, April 28th. The sign in Knowledge's bathroom says employees must wash hands, but it says nothing about smearing shit on your chest. So this is something from the comments. Amy writes, Zay, face it. Your hair has seen better days. Yeah, well, your hair is farting in your ass. And it's, and it smells, and it caught on fire in your ass, and there's stuff. I'm sorry, I'm cranky. Jedi McFan writes, nice sight, up yours. I'm sorry. Jasmine writes, what were you like in high school? Well, Jasmine, I went to a very progressive high school called Gilderland Central High School. We even had three or four minorities. When people make this gesture, it means that they're putting a word in quotation marks, which usually means that the validity of that word is in question. In my example, I put them around the word minority, which is incorrect because the people I was referring to were and probably still are minorities. I was trying to comment on how few minorities there were, but it ended up sounding like I was saying that there were fake minorities. Other people use quotation marks as well. For example, this morning, one of the CNN headlines read, Clooney urges action on Sudan, quote-unquote, genocide. In Sudan over the last 16 months, government-backed Arab militias have killed over 10,000 black Africans and left 1.2 million more homeless. Genocide. CNN has found this newsworthy because an actor, George Clooney, has spoken out about it. But back to me, Jasmine, I was very popular in high school and very good at the sports. Just thinking about how popular I was makes me want to throw up. In dirty space news, according to the new scientist, astronomers have measured the thickness of a neutron star's crust, thanks to a breach which spewed particles into space. We've come in contact with the spewed crust particles. CNET News Today has an article called, Is Jesus the Next Killer App? With the help of companies such as Sony, Panasonic, Avid, and Hitachi, more and more churches are implementing what is known as house of worship technology. Hey churches, I don't know if you know this, but the young kids are into what they call video games these days, and the industry is making like $100,000 a year. For example, I made this worship technology game called Atheist. Kids can play for hours, but be careful. Oh, by the way, that ethics bill I was talking about yesterday? You know, the one where the Republicans are letting the lobbyists jerk them off under a table if they want to? Yeah, that passed. Asshole. Exxon Mobil posted a first quarter earning yesterday of $8.4 billion. Asshole. Something from an email. Alexis writes, check out rocketboom.com for today. Dear Zay. That's me! I like duckies. Yeah, me too. Do you like spirographs? <laughs> Boop. <sighs> Boop. 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 Boop, 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 boop. This is a Frank thinking so you don't have to.